What's happening there guys and welcome back to our channel. Johnny Depp was on top of the world in the 1990s and early 2000s. From 21 Jump Street to Edward Scissorhands to Donnie Brasco until finally he rose to prominence as the face of the Pirates of the Caribbean series in 2003's Curse of the Black Pearl. Depp's net worth is believed to be $100 million as of this writing since his bank account were nearly $4 million overdrawn at one time and his financial advisors were concerned in January 2016 that he only had 30 days of liquidity remaining. So without any further ado, let's get to the bottom of how Johnny Depp lost all his money. Number 1. Management is to blame In a high-profile lawsuit, Johnny Depp attacked his previous managers for mishandling his money which, incidentally, is why the public now knows everything about Depp's spending habits. Depp sued the management group TMG for $25 million in January 2017, the day he completed his divorce from Amber Heard, claiming fraud, negligent misrepresentation, wrongful foreclosure, and a violation of fiduciary responsibility. Depp stated in court filings that he's been compelled to sell major assets to compensate for TMD's self-dealing and severe wrongdoing and that he has lost tens of millions of dollars. Depp had dubious financing in place and he was completely unaware of what was going on until it was too late. Number 2. Ties to the Family Johnny Depp and his sister Christy Dembrowski were quite close, albeit they had a falling out when he married Amber Heard without a prenuptial agreement. Dembrowski, on the other hand, continues to work for Depp as the head of his production firm and it seems like she's got $7 million in unexplained money from Depp's bank accounts. Depp is also said to have paid for Dembrowski's daughter's wedding, rent and mortgage payments. It's worth noting though that Dembrowski isn't suspected of taking advantage of her brother. Depp was aware that she was being paid with his own money according to insiders and he didn't think she was doing anything improper. Dombrowski hasn't been accused of any misconduct by Depp or the management group. Number 3. Amber Heard After Johnny Depp acted with Amber Heard in The Rum Diary, he and Vanessa Paradis, his longtime lover and mother of his children, divorced. According to Rolling Stone, he and Heard married in 2015 in the Bahamas in a $1 million ceremony without a prenuptial agreement. After an acrimonious divorce that lasted over a year, Depp was forced to pay Heard a $7 million settlement, which he allegedly gave to charity. Given Heard's surprisingly low income, it's likely that they spent Depp's money during their marriage. $50,000 per month over the course of their marriage, using a conservative estimate from their January 2014 engagement date to their May 2016 separation per variety, amounts to at least $1.35 million in Heard's expenses alone. Add in legal expenses, and this connection quickly became too costly. Number 4. Support Vanessa Parody and their children Johnny Depp's ex-girlfriend Amber Heard wasn't the only one who reportedly cost him a fortune. After 14 years and two children together, the actor and his longtime wife Vanessa Parody divorced in 2012. The separation was amicable, but not financially straightforward or cheap. In June 2012, the Sun claimed that Depp will likely pay Parody a $127 million single sum settlement. No one knows how much he spent on Parody after the separation, but The Hollywood Reporter claims he bought her a $4.5 million mansion. Fortunately for Depp, according to the Daily Mail, Parody married French filmmaker Samuel Ben Chetrit in June 2018, so he's likely out of the loop for everything but child support though he's also not legally compelled to pay for his children, who are 22 and 20 years old as of this writing. Number 5. Personal Spending Johnny Depp was said to be often cash-strapped as a result of his extravagant spending. He paid either $3 million, his managers' claim in their lawsuit, or $5 million, his own claim to Rolling Stone, to shoot the ashes of his late comrade Hunter S. Thompson from a cannon, depending on who you ask. Depp allegedly has 70 guitars, 45 luxury automobiles, and 200 pieces of art, including Basquiat's and Warhol's, according to reports. Depp's lawyer, however, informed people that the Basquiat paintings sold for a large profit and that some of Depp's real estate assets had increased in value significantly. Even still, Depp's boat, the Amphitrite, cost him $18 million, 
10 million dollars for the vessel itself plus another 8 million dollars for the upgrades and keeping it around cost him 350 thousand dollars each month Depp was a big gifter, spending $400,000 on a diamond cup for Amber Heard during their relationship, as well as $7,000 on a sofa from keeping up with the Kardashians for his daughter Lily Rose. Number 6. Messy Taxes In February 2017, at least $6 million of Johnny Depp's money was reportedly spent on IRS fines and interest. Depp's tax attorney, who had been hired to help him get out of the Fed Red, claimed in court documents from Depp's legal battle with his management team that he had an apparent history of dropping the ball at tax time, owing the IRS $5,704,581 in penalties and interest from delinquencies from 2000 to 2014. The IRS allegedly notified Depp's tax counsel that he had a history of tardy compliance with his federal tax payment obligations, according to the filings. Depp is also said to owe the IRS $336,162 in interest for the 2015 fiscal year. That takes his total tax debt to $6,040,743 during the 15-year period. It's worth noting that the amount indicated isn't the amount Depp owed in real taxes. Rather, it's the amount he had to pay in interest and late penalties. We've reached the end of our video, so do let us know what you think in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well as turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye now!